day eight. We had uh, 3,000 miles and moo moo cows. So we're headed to Reno. And uh, still pretty scenic, but it's going to get pretty bland. We're going to hit 80 and pretty much just drive as fast as we can down 80. Land. We'll see. And then we'll be in Utah. And uh, once we get into mountains in, uh, in Utah and Arizona, Colorado, that'll be pretty nice. We've been in that area before. We were there last year. And so I should be able to get some decent pictures and maybe fly the old uh, drone around a bit. They did fly a little yesterday and got some uh, pretty nice video. up staying in a bed and breakfast. It was the only motel or lodging we could find and we took the very last room in the town that was available. There were like five motels there and they were all booked solid. about $105, $110 a night. You know, there's no cheap hotels out there, you know. They're all busy. Tourists. And too many damn tourists, that's the problem. So anyway, we'll uh, continue on today and see what we can see. Uh, yesterday was pretty good. We saw trees, mountains, rocks. Lots and lots and lots of curves and a lot of diversity in, in the landscape. We had um, grapes and walnut trees and groves of all kinds of stuff, apples. So it was pretty diverse. And uh, this morning's looking pretty good. This is a pretty nice road here. I think we're on 395 headed north. Which is good, I don't have to drive into the sun. Uh, tomorrow's going to be tough. I have a little trouble with bright light in my eyes, so we'll see how that works out. Anyway, we'll see what we can see. Oh, forgot to mention, uh, 52 degrees, so it's a little cool. And we got a free car wash. The uh, bed and breakfast has a lawn sprinkler system and our bike was just completely drenched so this morning I got out there with a rag and wiped it down a couple times and it's looking pretty good it needed a good cleaning so the windshield and everything is you can actually see through it so I got like uh, two inches of butterfly guts off of everything so we're ready for fresh insect infestation like we're at 8,000 feet. We're still in California, but we're going to be exiting the state here pretty soon. Um, it was weird on the way in, talking about cleaning my bike here this morning. It, uh, it was completely covered with butterfly wings. I'm actually surprised we didn't go airborne. We had so many wings on this thing. But there were actually clouds of butterflies on the way into California that we smacked into it. We had butterfly wings and guts everywhere. It's really weird. I'm used to uh, June bugs, crickets, grasshoppers, uh, and all kinds of other things, but here was basically the only thing we ran into was butterflies. So, kind of hated to fertilize them, but couldn't help it. But anyway, the, the landscape's still pretty nice. We got some uh, snow-covered mountains up ahead. The air is cool, so it feels pretty good. Kind of watching for deers. And been lucky so far, I haven't really seen too many. We did have one 
one minor incident yesterday, which is kind of funny. We stopped at a gas station at the entrance to the uh, Yosemite Park, and uh, there was this young couple in the, in the car in front of us, and they were gassing up, and we took off just ahead of them, so they're behind us, and we're behind a string of cars. So we were limited to how fast we could go, but there was about maybe 40 or 50 feet between the car in front of me and me, and these guys behind us had a pass us, and as they went by, they flipped us the finger. And then we were right on their bumper all the way in, through the whole thing. It's like they gained 40 feet, and they're mad at us for following other cars. It was just bizarre. But, you know, you run into somebody like that once in a while, and, and that was actually our only occurrence on the whole trip. So. Uh, but it's funny, the people have been, I shouldn't say funny, not really that surprising. People have been really, really friendly. We stopped at, we stopped at a um, bar restaurant last night next to the B&B, &B and the guy greeted us on the way and shook our hands. They treated us like we were royalty or something. A very nice place. And I can't remember the name of it, but um, I was very appreciative. And every place else we stopped, everybody was really good to us. Almost everybody out here is, is Mexican. And they all treated us just great. Okay, we're coming toward the end of the day. It's about 5.20. It went from 97 degrees down to 74. And we got into some rain. Would you know, at the place where it never rains, we get into rain. I'm aiming for this clear spot right up a straight ahead here. We'll see if we can kind of sneak right on through there. If we do, I think we're going to bypass everything. Because it's moving the same direction we are. So we're basically catching up to it and then trying to drive through it. But it looks pretty promising. That was something. I don't think we could have kept going. Oh no. Did you did you see the flood we drove through on the way in there? Fine Look at my pants. Well I was hoping we'd go through that opening but it didn't work out. <laughs> 